When there's applique on a quilt, it often raises the question, should we quilt on that applique or should we go around it? In this video, I'm going to tell you what I do. This is Julie Pettyjohn with Pettyjohn Quilting. Thank you for viewing my channel today. Please like and subscribe. I quilt full time as a profession. So first and most importantly, if a customer requests that I not quilt on their applique, then I will not quilt on that applique. I do what the customer wants. I do, however, try to gently persuade them to allow me to quilt on the applique. If they're still insistent that their applique is so special to them that they don't want it quilted on, then I won't quilt on it. It is very important though to quilt on applique, especially in the case of this quilt where these elephants are a fairly large size. A long time ago, I did a quilt for myself and I did not quilt on the applique. And I found out about nine months later that my quilt was not in the greatest shape because the applique was bulging out of the quilt. So that could easily happen to you if you do not secure the applique that is on the quilt. It will stretch, the fabric there will stretch and it will get distorted looking and it's really not a pretty sight so it's much better to actually quilt on that applique to help secure it to the quilt even like in this case my customer had used a uh, fusible so you know it's stuck down to the quilt however that won't always last and it just is a lot better look if you have a little bit of stitching. The next question that can come up is how much stitching should be done. I try to do as minimal amount as possible. For me, stitching on applique has a function. That's stability for the quilt. I do not want the designs to take away from the beauty of the applique that the person who pieced them has already created. So I try to do as small amount as possible just to get the job done. This leads me to thread choices. Sometimes for applique I use monofilament polyester thread. It gives the texture and security without the stitch showing. I do prefer though to use Micro Quilter 100 weight thread instead because it's just so much easier to use than the Mono Poly thread. So I use that and I adjust my tension just a little bit and I put a size 16 needle in for the Micro Quilter thread. In this case, for this quilt that I'm showing you here though, I used my regular weight glide thread that I've used throughout the rest of the quilt, I just watched my thread color. I made sure that on the darker elephants, I used a dark gray thread, and on the lighter ones, I used a real light thread or sometimes a matching color to whatever the elephant is. But this uh, fabric is an Aboriginal fabric and it has so much going on that it really helps disguise the thread anyway. As for design choices, I quite often let the fabric lead me, especially in a fabric like this. You've probably noticed that in some of the elephants that I have already shown you, I have either made large circles around some of the circular areas of the fabric, uh, sometimes when there's a, a large flower on it. I will just go around that flower. On these elephants, I always went around the ear and then towards the outside of the shape of the elephant and then just let the fabric lead me. There were times though that I didn't really see a particular design that I needed to outline or follow and so in that case I would uh, make large, large shapes. 
So like on one, I did pebbles, but not the kind of pebbles we normally do. I did extremely large pebbles because I didn't want a dense amount of quilting. Uh, I also did some clam shapes and I did just really large ones. Sometimes I would do a large swirl, a loose swirl in the middle of the body of the elephant. So I'll just let you watch here for a little bit and see what I've chosen to do in some of the elephants and just enjoy viewing. I hope you feel a little more comfortable stitching on that applique now, especially now that you know that it really does need it. Thank you once again for viewing my channel. I hope you'll return.